right. I'm going to give it a few minutes uh, just for more people to be able to join in. Um, please indicate if you can hear me. All right, I'm getting myself ready. Okay, um, can someone please indicate to me if I am audible? Hey, Joby. <laughs> All right, okay, I see uh, there are messages coming in. Uh, Traps saying, yes, you are. <laughs> All right. Okay, just a minute more and then we are going to get started. I'm excited for 2024. <laughs> Alright, just getting my notes up and ready. Right, I think we are ready to get going. Uh, good day, good day everyone. And once again, as your favorite uncle always says, we are back again, all right? Uh, um, it's so good that we've seen 2024. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed your holidays. You know, you've had a lovely Christmas. And of course, a New Year's Day celebration was also a top tier. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all of you for joining in. Uh, for those of you that are going to join in later or that are going to watch this live, um, you know, uh, uh, streaming later, um, of course, uh, welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for the love. I see all the hearts that are going wild. Uh, thank you uh, for joining us. All right, so on this live, I just thought, um, you know, we, I wanted us to just discuss very quickly a few ideas that we, you know, can have uh, going into 2024, the academic year is about to start. Hey guys, it's about to get real. Okay, so what are those things that you need to do in order for you to do well academically this year? You know, what are the adjustments? Perhaps 2023 didn't go as well as you planned. Okay, um, well, of course, you can redeem yourself this year, right? Um, you know, metric results are going to come out. Uh, I'll do another live for that uh, later on, you know, just to advise those who are going to uh, get their metric results. But for now, I just wanted to talk to those of you that are going into metric, that are going into university, those of you that are going into uh, grade 11 and any other, uh, you know, grade that you might be moving on to. Perhaps we might even have some adults, you know, um, who are... Uh, considering going back into studying, how can you make 2024 a successful academic year? All right. So I wanted to start with the first thing, and uh, later on I'm going to look at your comments. You know, look at the um, you know uh, what it is that you'd like for me to uh, to address. So number one, in, in order for you to make uh, 2024 and a successful academic year. I want you to consider this, stay organized. So the first thing is stay organized. So what does that mean? It means that you must keep track, all right, of assignments. It means that you must keep track of deadlines, all right? So that means the first thing that you need to do is get what uh, uh, your academic calendar, what does it look like, okay? So that you can be able to keep, uh, you know, in step with every single thing that is happening. That is for matriculants as well and uh, grade 11s. You must know what are the closing dates, okay? Uh, for instance, if you're going to be applying at universities, you must know what the closing dates are. I'm going to make it a point this year that I keep you updated as much as I possibly can uh, on, uh, on that. 
but I am going to, uh, uh, you know, try and help as much as I possibly can uh, in that regard. So, meaning, know your closing date for higher institutions, no closing dates for NBT exams, all right? Uh, for those of you that are considering studying towards, you know, STEM fields, uh, perhaps in the university of your choice, there is a, a requirement for you to write in NBTs. You must know what the closing dates are, right? So that you can be able to, um, you know, uh, apply on time and write the required NBT exam on time. Okay, now the second thing, or oh, actually uh, just another thing on that point, you know, on, on staying organized, make it a point that you also know when bursary applications are. I don't know guys, uh, perhaps some of you, you know, don't come from a similar background like I do, uh, but you know, if, if it is that you're going to be applying for bursaries, okay, make it a point that you know as much as possible in so far as what those closing dates are, all right, so that uh, you can apply on time. So that's the first one, stay organized. So make sure that you are as organized as possible and, you know, obtain what you call, for those of you in, in high school, obtain what you call an, an ATP, that's the Annual Teaching Plan. That's available on the DBE website, okay? Uh, for those of you that are doing IEB uh, or, you know, in university, all schools or every single institution has got what they call a teaching plan, right? So that means they know what they are going to cover within a specific uh, uh, amount of time. And so uh, if you get that uh, annual teaching plan, what it, it, it enables you to do is, you know, just to plan your studying ahead. If you're in metric and you haven't started studying by now, uh, I think you're late, okay? So I, I, I'm going to say immediately when, you know, we finish with this life, start preparing yourself for the academic year that is coming. Number two, let's talk about planning. It's kind of, you know, um, the same concept, okay, as, um, you know, what we, we've just covered, staying organized. But I want to take this a, a notch further. So number two, planning, all right? So you just, you know, we know the, the adage that always says uh, a failure to plan is planning to fail, right? So that means if you don't plan, you are actually planning to fail, right? So in this case, um, what does planning look like? So what I want you to look at is drawing up a schedule, okay? So that means that you've got your regular timetable, school timetable, uh, you know when to attend your classes, you know which class comes at which particular time. But what that also entails is that you must make it a point, right, that you have your own personal study schedule, okay? So your personal study schedule means that you are going to know what it is that you do first thing when you get home. Um, what are the things that you're going to be looking at or what time are you going to allocate towards studying? And all of us are wired differently. Some of you are more nocturnal animals. <laughs> well, you're not animals, you're human beings, right? Uh, what I mean by nocturnal, you do better at night. So if you're that kind of a person, obviously what you want to do is prioritize night time for your personal study time, okay? Uh, you know, make it a point that you use that time. But if you're a morning person, of course, you're going to wake up in the early hours of the morning. I am a morning person. I always prefer, uh, you know, to do things in the morning, all right? So you are going to make sure that you use the mornings uh, just to make sure that you, um, uh, you, you, you study, you prepare, and you know you 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 prepare for I mean for your studies right now the third thing that I want you to um, just note there in fact just whilst we're still under planning before I go to the next point um, I wrote there be organized okay uh, that means have your own study space that's part of planning okay now uh, if you're not privileged enough to have a you know a place at home. Um, you know, where you can study. Make one, you know, use your school, okay? Um, go to school uh, early before everyone arrives if you're a morning person or stay, um, you know, behind when others leave, right? So that you use that space as your personal study space, okay? So make it a point that you create uh, that, um, that place for study. And also set goals. 
I know this is kind of, you know, it, it sounds a bit cliched. We always say this, you must set smart goals and all of that, but you can't say that enough, okay? So 2024 can only be a success if you've got a goal in mind that you're going to use and you're going to follow that goal, okay? Right. Now, remember that time is your biggest asset, okay? Don't waste time, all right? So, number three. If you want to make 2024 uh, a success, yeah, uh, you know, Gamu, you're saying I'm late. Um, look, you can still salvage uh, what is left of the time. Please make it a point that you utilize that time. Number three is engage in active learning, right? Active learning. What do I mean by that, right? So some of you, when you say you are studying, it's when you just take a textbook and you just read, okay? That's not studying. Okay, when we talk about active learning, it's when you're going to engage with the material that you are actually reading, right? So that means that you're going to uh, create discussions, okay? You're going to look at, uh, find ways of uh, jotting it down. You're going to summarize the material. Uh, for those of you that use my YouTube channel or any other channel for that matter, uh, or that use online resources, right? What you're going to do is don't just, you know, uh, take a, a bowl of popcorn and watch my videos and think that that's a form of studying. That is a passive form of studying, right? So what you're going to do is sit down with the video, right? Use the material, study, right? I mean, uh, watch the video, learn the concept, and then practice it, okay? So for medicine science, what engagement looks like, it's when now you take the concept that you've just learned, and what are you going to do? You are going to actually now uh, engage uh, by, um, you know, practicing. Okay, so engage. So I, I was saying to you, use uh, the, your time studying uh, in active learning, right? So that means that you're going to use past exam papers. All right, guys, I cannot emphasize that method enough, right? If it is that perhaps you cannot uh, afford books, you can't afford, uh, let's say, um, you know, study material and so on. I think the best thing to do is to try and obtain past exam papers, right? And memos. And what you're going to do is practice using past exam papers. Of course, uh, my website is going to have, you know, those uh, past exam papers and you can utilize that. I'll tell you once it's uh, up and running and ready. Okay, but of course, there are many other websites that you can use and for past exam papers. Number four, all right? Um, seek help when you need it, all right? So, you know, guys, sometimes I think we, we waste time, um, you know, trying to figure things out on our own. And I want to say to you, you know, the best way that you can actually um, use time more efficiently or more effectively is when you go and seek help. Seek help from your teachers. Sometimes you've got teachers that are very much willing uh, to assist. Uh, they can stay behind with you uh, after school, especially if you're a diligent person. You know, I think most of the time people would criticize teachers and say they're not willing to help. But sometimes I think we become slack and uh, as a result, you know, I wouldn't be, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be encouraged to help someone who's really not putting um, you know effort but if you're a learner and you're showing that you're enthusiastic you are always prepared you're always on time you're always engaging you're always asking questions definitely I think any teacher would uh, you know try their level best to assist so please be that diligent uh, person even if they mock you and call you a teacher's pet right um, there's nothing wrong with that uh, at, at the end of the day you know what your goals are utilize uh, those goals um, to, uh, I mean, utilize uh, whatever resources that you've got to obtain your goals. And then um, some of you would, uh, would use tutors. And of course, uh, some of you know that we've got online classes that are available and you can register with our own online classes. Um, uh, that is for math and science. We're still going to uh, have uh, even more of those. You can use tutors. Um, you know, just to get yourself ahead as a means of seeking help, right? So uh, get a tutor, 
and that can assist you. You can get a tutor that is nearby, or even you can come to the Lumisingosi Center that is in Hanichu. Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> right, you can always uh, do walk ins. We do offer Saturday classes as well. Uh, you, we have uh, tutoring that is available. We've got tutoring online. You can use any of those, right? And then um, seek help. You can use digital tools, right? Of course, my YouTube channel. Uh, and many other YouTube channels that are there, uh, you can utilize those and many other digital tools uh, that you can, uh, ask, uh, I mean, that you can utilize. All right, and uh, that was the fourth one, right? And then the fifth one, I want to say before I finish, practice self-care, you know? I want to say, guys, I know that um, 2024, you've got these big goals that you want to achieve. Uh, you've got, you know, you've set your bar up there and you want to obtain great results, right? But remember that, um, you know, you need to maintain a balance between working hard and also taking time to rest. So, self-care. You don't want to find yourself battling with mental health issues, right? You, you, you don't want to find yourself uh, hospitalized because you know you had a, a mental breakdown so what you're going to do is as much as you work hard you also play hard and by the way that means you're going to take enough time to rest okay take sufficient time to rest and what you're going to do is exercise okay and by the way guys i'm not saying do those hard exercises you know for content i know some of you are content creators right uh, so you show us your exercises and how much of a gym bunny you are and uh, that's not necessary and uh, taking a walk okay and uh, reading a book you know just reading a, a nice uh, story or you know uh, something that would help your mind to relax okay and don't forget eating healthy as well drink lots of water because remember, uh, water does act as a stimulant for the brain. Uh, you know, it, it, it helps the brain to uh, be active most of the time so that you can uh, think more creatively, uh, you know, so that you can be able to work more efficiently as well. Okay, right. So those are the five things. So in summary, I want you to stay organized. I want you to plan. Um, I said engage in active learning. That's the third one. Seek help when it's needed. That's the fourth one. And number five, practice self-care. And guys, I want, you, I want you to make 2024 the best year of your academic career. And I want you to make sure that you can be the best version of you that you can be. Now, just the last portion, I just want to talk about three things that I want you guys to avoid this year, okay? definitely avoid this, right? Number one, bad company. You know, uh, I like reading the Bible, by the way. Um, you know, I think it's in uh, 1 Corinthians um, chapter 15. Uh, in fact, yeah, no, actually Romans 15, 33. Uh, it says, bad company co corrupts good morals, right? So if you find yourself, you know, with bad company, a bad group of friends that are always going to be advising you uh, on things that will not help you towards achieving your goals, I think it's about that time that you stand firm and say no, all right? I think no is a very powerful word. It's a very powerful tool that you can use uh, for things that are not going to help you achieve your goal. Please learn to say no. So... Please avoid bad company, all right? And have positive people around you. Surround yourself with friends that are going to challenge you, friends that are going to uh, always uplift you and help you towards your studies. And if your friends are doing better than you are, well, those are good friends because then you've got a challenge and you, you can always use um, you know, them to actually uh, uh, just benchmark yourself as well as use your friends uh, to help you, you know, where they are doing better, okay, you are going to help, uh, I mean, uh, ask them for uh, assistance. Number two, uh, what are you going to avoid to make sure that you do well academically? Avoid doom scrolling, right? Uh, some of you use social media a lot, okay? Social media is good as a tool for studying. I mean, I am right now, you're using a, a social media platform, which is YouTube, right? But you're getting good information. 
right? So use that, uh, use social media as a means of advancing yourself towards studying. But guys, please avoid doom scrolling. That is, you know, going from one video after the other. I mean, we can talk about uh, other social media platforms, your TikToks and, you know, uh, your shorts and, and, and all of that. Uh, sometimes you find yourself just scrolling one video after the other and, uh, you know, by the time you realize you've got two hours that you've wasted, right? So make it a point that you avoid doom scrolling at all costs. And finally, finally, the very last one before I look at your questions, right? Please, guys, uh, cross nights, okay? Some of you, uh, you know, and, and there are all of these programs that people advertise about cross nighting this, cross nighting that. Honestly speaking, uh, the moment you go to, uh, uh, through a cross night, it tells me that you are not ready. Okay, it means that you failed to plan. It means that you did not use your time efficiently, right? Show me any person, you know, that has said, look, I was completely clueless about what uh, the subject matter is and I went to a cross night and I still got good results. If you can show me that person, perhaps, maybe I can change my, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I can change my mind about cross nights. But guys, I've never seen cross nights to be a thing that works. In fact, uh, on the contrary, I've seen people go to cross nights, uh, you know, uh, cross nighting and, um, you know, studying the whole night and only to find the morning after, you know, um, they are not able to think clearly. They, I mean, the, the one learner last year um, arrived uh, at their exam late because they overslept uh, because of going to a cross night, you know. Uh, please avoid that but uh, at all costs, you know. That is not helpful if you're going to, uh, you know, to do well academically. And guys, uh, finally, I want to wish you all of God's best when it comes to your studies for 2024. Uh, please use uh, my channel, all right? Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like uh, and, you know, uh, comment as well. Uh, leave some very good comments, okay? Right, and with that said, I think what I'm going to do is just look at your, uh, just look at your comments and if there are any questions. Um, and by the way, for those of you who've been asking about our center, uh, our center is, at, is in Hanichu right and um, in Johannesburg uh, but of course if you are not in Johannesburg you can always use um, you know our online services okay all right uh, so I'm looking at your questions right hey my favorite uncle Zanele Komane says yes okay uh, let me see if there are any questions uh, I was with you in metric 2022 that's Imran uh, going through problems and your content created passion for maths and physics. Thank you, Imran. I'm really grateful to hear that. Uh, you know, it's such, it's such a good thing to, to hear that. Okay, science and tech guru says, <laughs> uh, Thank you. Um, for people that are upgrading maths and science, which books would you recommend? Um, Lucy, which books do I recommend? What I do recommend, uh, I can't really talk about a specific book. What I do recommend is, you know, using past exam question papers, right? Uh, you know, for you, it would definitely be something that uh, would definitely be uh, of assistance. Um, I'm not sure at the moment, uh, you know, well, I'll try in future, you know, to uh, create a textbook that would uh, somewhat assist. But um, at the moment, I can't recommend any textbook uh, at, uh, on, this, on this particular platform. Okay. Um, Katya says, uh, Hello, sir. Will this video still be available after the live? Yes, it will definitely be available. Okay. It will definitely be available. And what I'll do later on is that I will break this information down into shots, right? Uh, that you can use uh, because shorts are much easier to uh, consume, right? Uh, all right, and Nadia uh, says, I don't know how to control my exam anxiety. Uh, I feel like it's going to uh, disadvantage me during exams. Right, um, Nadia, I do understand. And look, I would advise that if you find that you, you're struggling with anxiety, 
uh, perhaps you might be, uh, please seek help, okay? Um, there's nothing wrong with seeking help. Uh, there are services that are, are free, right, at your local clinic if you want to use a free service. But of course, there are also paid, um, you know, people uh, that can help with, uh, with anxiety as well. But uh, I would say to reduce the level of anxiety, it really might be helpful for you to also uh, consider, uh, you know, things like, uh, um, you know, preparing. I think what, what, what reduces the level of anxiety is always being prepared. Okay, so please make sure that you prepare well for your studies. Um, I see I'm also getting a question here um, uh, for people who want to get in touch with us. Uh, our email address is info at mlungisingosi.co.za, right? Uh, if you're looking for our services and if you want a, a number that you can use, that's 079-899-6320. Okay, so you can get in touch with us uh, if you need our services. All right, and uh, another one. How do you manage stress during matric year? Um, well, uh, as I did say to you, uh, so this is Shadow uh, uh, Tortlon. Eh? Okay, uh, Shadow, how do you manage stress? Uh, as I said, the, 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 the advice that I've given you during this live, okay, is to help you manage stress, okay? How do you manage stress? You prepare, you plan, right? You make sure that you, you seek for advice or you, you, you get help, right? Um, you know, the, the, the five steps or the five tips that I have given you and uh, those will be hel helpful towards you uh, minimizing stress. Okay, what advice would you give uh, for grade 11 who do pure maths and physics? Use my channel, <laughs> right? Uh, that's the best advice. In fact, if you look at the content, uh, in as much as some of the content is written grade 12, it's actually from grade 10 to 12, right? Uh, but I'm going to be putting in more content this year and um, I will be able to um, uh, give it titles uh, so that you know for which grade they are more relevant. Use my channel uh, and of course, um, you know, try and make sure that you prepare in advance, okay? So for now, if you're going into grade 11, I said use your ATP annual teaching plan, look at what is coming ahead, all right, and uh, try to prepare towards that uh, so that you don't keep falling behind and as a result uh, end up being stressed. Okay, and then um, this is Jobe Jr. Uh, I'm, I'm Baye de Gumbi. <laughs> okay, oh, thank you. All right, okay, thank you, thank you, Baye de. Um, is it possible to learn certain subjects that my current school does not offer subjects? that I am more interested in. Uh, I think you'd have to uh, go and inquire. Uh, I'm not too sure in Dogozo if you are uh, in metric or perhaps uh, you know, are asking about upgrading. Uh, and by the way, we do have upgrading uh, plans uh, or upgrading services, right? Uh, we will be having uh, upgrading classes that are right here at the center. By the way, I'm right here at the center as we speak, right? Um, and we will have upgrading services uh, we are having upgrading services and you can get in touch with us uh, to get more details um, if you are upgrading, right? And even for those of you that are in full-time matriculants, our Saturday classes and our midweek classes, and uh, that will help you with that. Okay, so um, uh, Brady is saying, can you please do more past papers for pure maths? I will definitely do so. Uh, I think I've got um, sufficient uh, that I've done. But of course, I will do uh, more of that. If I could just find out from you, Brady, uh, which uh, which grade you're in, uh, so that um, all right, Nondogozo is in grade ten. All right, Nondogozo definitely uh, you can actually just enroll uh, with us as well uh, if you are interested in that. Uh, thanks, thanks for the tips, Uncle. Uh, you are welcome, uh, Mushuri. Uh, it's Makubele Mushuri. All right. Uh, would you please show on your screen the information you just shared? I missed some. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to edit this. Okay, I'm going to record it again as a, uh, a video. All right, and I will add that as, um, as, as uh, you know, just the information. Uh, I will definitely do so. Okay, 
malume wa bashana bake <laughs> hello kopano <laughs> right okay brady you saying that you're in metric okay thank you for responding there okay and nadia says i'm struggling with euclidean geometry uh, please look out uh, later on this year I, I will have a plan around that uh, by the way we've got uh, camps that we will have um you know during your your breaks at school uh, where we will be able to assist you with that uh, please uh, if you can for now nadia just go and watch uh, you know the, those um, videos so i've got an entire playlist so instead of going to uh, find a video go to the playlist on euclidean geometry and watch the video one video after the other and uh, i promise it will help but of course i will actually throw in more content uh, in that regard okay uh, is there a chance that you would uh, have a camp in Cape Town? Actually, I'm planning to have a, um, uh, you know, tours around the country where I will be able to just come through. But my team and I will work through that and I will inform you uh, timelessly when that would be. Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, I think it's Luhe uh, Botlani, eh? Botlani, okay? Sorry for assassinating your name there. Uh, do you have any Zoom videos? Uh, I do. Um, I don't use Zoom necessarily as a platform, but I do use uh, um, a, a Google Meet as a platform. Yes, I do. Okay, and Brady, when is your learning center and what are the prices? Okay, so we've got different offerings. Uh, at the moment, I'm not, I, I don't have the, the pricing schedule, uh, but I can assure you that the prices are quite reasonable. Uh, you can just inquire from our assistant. Okay, uh, I'm really struggling when it comes to studying. I don't know what to really what to really do. Whenever I'm trying to study, I feel low and tired. I don't know what uh, to do. You know, um, there's 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 something that um, I, I forgot who the author is. Uh, I forgot that. Oh, I think it's John Maxwell. Uh, who actually says something to the tune of, you know, discipline is doing something that you don't like to achieve something that you want, right? But when you do it long enough, discipline becomes something that you do, that you now, uh, uh, you know, that you do when you do something that you now like uh, to achieve something that you want. What I mean by that is that the longer you do something, the longer you stay on a certain path, right? and uh, the more easier it becomes so uh, what i'm going to say to you is please make it a point that uh, it will start with discipline but it will end up as being something that you completely enjoy okay so uh, i would definitely advise that you you start on the path of discipline but it will end up being something that you enjoy all right uh, let me see if there are any more questions okay um I did my metric in 2017, can I also enroll with you? Absolutely you can, uh, Lucy, you are more than welcome to do so. Uh, good day, sir, please elaborate more on how to practice on mathematics and physics when focusing on specific topics. Uh, do we practice two or more past papers? Um, so what I normally uh, advise for you to do is take a section. For instance, if you're gonna go through Newton's laws, right? Take Newton's laws, um, you know, watch a video on it, uh, learn how to you know master Newton's laws watching the videos and then take a question paper and do only Newton's laws all right do only questions on Newton's laws and then if you get three in a row correct then it means that your understanding is fairly good right but if you uh, obviously are not getting it correct then it means that you might need to make an adjustment and please before I uh, close this live off I need to make a very very important announcement uh, I think it's going to be exciting for all of us okay uh, can you do more chemistry past papers definitely uh, oh Fred okay um, I'm definitely going to do so but already there are uh, um, past papers that are uh, already there please uh, binge watch on them all right uh, and you'll see that there's more than enough material in that regard um, okay um, all right let's see what is the shortest time of understanding all maths and science topics hey uh, please um uh, Shadima, please let's 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 stay away from shortest time look the, the pace yourself okay pace yourself 
do things at the right pace. Okay, right. I want to close this um, uh, this this live now. Okay, I know you guys still have a lot of questions. I will um, please just try to uh, once I've uploaded it, uh, please just uh, put up your questions as uh, comments, and I will try to attend to uh, all your uh, your questions. And thank you so much, guys, uh, for joining in on this live. Um, you know the the last thing that I wanted to say. I am going to be doing live content. That means live lessons on YouTube, okay? And the reason for that is simple, right? Uh, the, the reason is simple. Uh, just now, I'm doing a live and you're able to interact with me right there on the spot. So uh, if there are certain sections on maths, Euclidean geometry being one of them, you know, many other sections that I'm going to be doing live lessons on. And I'm going to ensure that and you can ask questions on the spot. I will announce on that. For now, our plan is that we're going to do uh, live, live lessons um, on Mondays and Wednesdays, but I will tell you if anything changes in that regard. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for watching. All right, and thank you for being with your favorite uncle. I hope that 2024 is going to be an awesome year and you're going to do great in your academic career. Otherwise, from me for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop. Eat, ta